broadcast. Okay, there we are. Uh, we're ta we're at the um, Lion 2015 conference in Chicago, and I'm talking with Lauren Furman, who is from the Wisconsin Center for Investigative Journalism, and they've done a lot of great groundbreaking investigative news there. And Lauren is the person who tracks impact of their stories, and she's going to talk just for a minute about how she makes that magic happen. So I came up, when I came aboard the center in t late 2010, I started tracking the reach and the impact of our work right away. Uh, we distribute all of our content for free, so we give it away to news organizations, um, and it's picked up wildly all over the state. We needed to find a way to know exactly who's using that content. Um, so I started using Google Alerts at first and just a Google spreadsheet and have kind of refined that system over time. And now we actually use Mount Water, which is a clipping service, a paid clipping service. Um, and that lets us know when our name is being mentioned online. So that could be um, in reference to a pickup of our story, a mention of our story, or a mention of a form of impact. Um, Mount Water, we use that in conjunction with a, a new tool that I've been working with for about two years now called Newslinks. Um, and Newslinks is a way to pull together qualitative and quantitative data so it pulls automatically in your Google Analytics along with your Twitter and Facebook analytics um, and then you're able to enter in examples of impact um, and we've made it a part of our newsroom um, a part of every single reporter's job to keep track of the impact of the work and what we've seen is that reporters are idealistic they get into it because they want their work to resonate or to do something have an impact in the world so they're all keeping track of it but it's either in their head or it's like typed up on a word document on their on their computer um, and so I just encourage them to share that with me to let me know if they're hearing from readers that this story changed my mind on something or I changed my habit if there's a community organization that held an event or or took some action as a result of our story if um, someone resigned or was fired or if there was a law change law proposed hearing that kind of thing as a result of our story and then Newslinks actually lays that out on a timeline so we're able to see since the story was published exactly what What's happened over time. Um, web traffic, uh, Facebook, Twitter shares, things like that, as well as those impact events. Well, that sounds terrific, and you're getting a lot of hearts here. <laughs> People are excited to hear about this. Great. Um, so, do your reporters have to learn how to use analytics, or do you do this all for them? Or? We do it all for them. We have a lot of student reporting interns, um, and we think it's important that they learn that while they're at the center. Uh, typically, they have a year-long internship, uh, so we sure, certainly share all that information with them, and if, it's, if they're interested in learning more, um, I will work with them on that. Otherwise, it's something that I handle. I also have a, a public engagement and marketing intern right now, and, and she's helping me out with the tracking so of all keeping, of this, which is great. So you're keeping the interns very busy. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. But when it comes to um, sharing examples of impact of their stories with us. It's just a simple web form that they have to fill out. Very good. Yeah. And um, is that an ongoing process or is news links or the, or the reporters reporting? I mean, yes, that's something that um, we've started recently, and it's kind of based on the work of Lindsay Green Barber at the Center for Investigative Reporting. Uh, she was their impact analyst, and she started a similar similar process at CIR. Uh, so we've kind of duplicated that at the center, um, and it's something that we'll continue pushing long into the future. And what we've seen is that as we start to give people credit for the impact of their story, um, then the next the next reporter is like, well, what about me? My story had impact too. I want to share that. Um, so it's kind of ramped up. Very time. good. Well, yeah. thank you for your time, and uh, thank you for your good work. Thank you. Talk to you later.